What's up everybody? My name is Grim Reaper and uh, this is my second commentary but I would like to talk about um, kill-death ratios and why they're not important to me. I mean it's it's like like why everybody why does everybody on Call of Duty dashboard? I don't get it but um, I mean the reason why they're not important to me is because I mean you can't you can't go buy a car or get or uh, what's that called? Go to the grocery store and get anything like milk and eggs or anything like that. But I mean, let's or get a girlfriend in that matter. But I mean, <laughs> or I'll take that back. Some chicks, well, I don't know. I mean that that if they do that, that's good for you. <laughs> but I mean, um, this gameplay, it's old so I mean I, it's it's a pretty it's pretty good gameplay I think it's 14 and 1 in search and destroy hardcore search and before everybody says anything is like ew he's using the 74U you know what I don't care I like this gun I mean I don't see why everybody rags on it I mean it's a pretty decent gun but back to the kill death ratio I mean there's there's no point of sitting there saying oh yeah my kill death ratio is better than yours or anything like that I mean this shit's not important it's retarded how people just think that they're better than everybody else just because of a little number I mean it's completely not important at all so I mean that's that's my little view on it and I mean like I just don't I don't get why people do that shit just the dashboard and then say oh yeah I beat you or something like that because of my kill death ratio like my kill death ratio is better than yours my kill death ratio is trash honestly I really don't care I mean <laughs> the kill death ratio it's the whole theory on it is stupid I mean why can't you take it back to the old days like the good old days like in COD 1 or something like that where they didn't have that like all they had was when you were playing multiplayer is like the little bar that went up like the little sergeant's bar or whatever and that's it and after you died it reset I don't know why they don't take that back but I mean it's it's the whole thing is just retarded and I think they need to stop doing that that's just my point I mean everybody has their own opinion so but Good job, team. Get ready for I mean the I, I think I got this gameplay like way back when this game was popular I it was it's pretty decent so I had I had to put it up so I just had to show you guys what this one was all about I mean I yes like I said I play all types of games like this one I haven't I'd like I just got back on that one last night and I completely forgot about this game so I decided to show it to you guys but <clears throat> I, I I just don't see why people do that. It's completely retarded. It's ridiculous. It shouldn't. I don't think it should be in the game. It doesn't prove anything. I mean, there's always somebody out there that's gonna do better than you, or something of that matter. So it's it's kind of retarded. So, but um. Yeah, I like I would like um, like I would love to see like I I seen like Crow who's I think it was previous video or something like that he was talking like um about like Call of Duty like what game they should come out with next and uh, it's like I I honestly think since this game was based like kind of like Cold War era and like Vietnam mixed in one I think they should just take it straight back to fucking like Nam like just a straight up Nam game that's just me I mean just bring like all the legit like um weapons back like the M1 Grand and and the M14 they did use the M1 Grand in the first half of the war so I don't see why they won't bring that in or they will I don't know but I mean that's just my opinion <clears throat> I mean, I would, like, honestly, I would love to see if Medal of Honor comes out with a new game, if, but, I mean, I would, I would love to see them do, like, a, uh, 
like a nom game or cold war game or something like that that'd be awesome to me i mean i know i'm i'm no i'm going all over the place in this commentary but i mean i just i just want to get these i want to get these things out here and see what what you guys think about them i mean i honestly yesterday or the other day my first commentary dude i was like hella nervous i <laughs> Like, I was really, really nervous. And now that I see that it's okay, I mean, like, in one day, dude, I got, like, 60-some views. Or, what's it called? It just jumped up to 61 views today. My first video. And I'm really surprised. So I have to give out a big, big, big thank you to Obin himself. So, dude, if you're seeing this, if you're seeing this commentary and gameplay, dude, seriously, thank you. Um, probably with, without, without the, the little shout out like button thing, dude, I would have never got out there. I mean, this is my, this is my second commentary it is, but I mean, that's why I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to do this thing. So, I mean, but I mean, it's the way I see YouTube like how I'm starting out, dude. It's awesome, dude. I I love it. I've gotten I've gotten some feedback on my first on my first commentary and gameplay, and I'm definitely going to take those into account. And thank you to everybody that has what's that called? Looked at my videos and or looked at my first video. And like I would seriously like to say thank you to everybody that's done that. So um. I think, I think this is the last round, I think, but I mean, <laughs> in this game anyway, um, but it's, it's, YouTube as a thing is really fun, like, I like it, like, a lot, and it's, it's cool because people can look at your videos and give their feedback on what your videos are about and everything else, that's what I like about it so far. And, I mean, it's like a it's like a really close knit community. I mean, it's pretty cool, and I'm hoping to do this for longer. But anyway, that's my time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.